Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your run command is not saving the history of such commands on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, best match, should come back with registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer or external drive. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import and then navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward process. And now we're ready to begin. So we are going to start off by double clicking on the HK Current User folder. Do the same thing now for the Software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. And now you want to go down to Windows and go ahead and double click on that. Should be a Current Version folder in here. Double click on that one as well. And there should be an Explorer folder. Double click on it. And then finally, there should be an advanced folder near the top. Just left click on that one time. If you need to pause the video and take note of our file path up at the top of the screen, each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under up to this point. And now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and look over on the right side for something that says start underscore track prog, P R O G S, right here. Double click on it. For value data, you want to delete the zero, type in number one, a numerical number one in here. Base should be hexadecimal, and then select OK. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of everything, and then restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully I was able to now save your run command history from going forward. So pretty straightforward process. Do a positive to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.